Hello, Austimation, and welcome back to more Kirby's Nightmare in Dreamland. In the last episode, we did three more levels of Orange Ocean, and we made it to the boss store. So, let's take on the sixth boss of the game. Is it finally time? Get it, but but I already have one. Oh, God. Dual wielding! Or I just replaced my old sword. It's finally time to fight Meta Knight now. Yes, he's been setting his minions on us for all this time, but now it's finally time to do combat with the knight himself. Meta Knight's pretty much a staple boss fight in every Kirby game, and he's always usually a pretty good challenge. It's basically a sparring match between your sword and his sword. He has a lot of various, various attacks he can do. He has most of the basic sword attacks he can do, including an upper, jab, an upper jab he can do. Along with smashing into the ground, I think. He gets a lot more various than the attacks he can use in later Kirby games. But for the first one we're playing, that's all he can do. And now we move on to level 7, Rainbow Resort. And Kirby is apparently enjoying his mic power there. And he broke the rainbow. So welcome to Rainbow Resort. This is the final world of the game, so we're nearing the end of this now. Most of the world, or most of the levels in this world, sorry, are gonna be of the ice and space variant. Along with the exception of one very awesome level, which we'll get to when we get to. But oh god, it's fun. So this stage seems to be a mix of ice and space, and we have a lot of star blocks everywhere. They're nice enough to give you a lot of powers that can sweep through the blocks efficiently, but I'm fine with using sword. And aren't you moving fast there? Um, timing? A plus. Gotta break every block. Oh god, you came back. Um. Yeah, gotta be careful not to spawn you on screen again. Well, I think I just did then. Uh, gotta watch out for it now. I don't know why those guys have suddenly started moving so fast. Now we have some cannons, apparently. And, well, since I lost my sword anyway, I guess I can get a random choice here. Okay, what am I gonna get? Fireworks, and the power's gone. So far, I've gotten some really useless powers out of that random draw thing. With the exception of sleep, of course, because that was just a miracle when that happened. And there's level 2. Very straightforward, it's pretty much just on ahead from where the first level was. If I remember correctly, this is also a very awesome level. So you may be wondering why the boss theme is playing and we're fighting mini-bosses. Oh, get ready for a mini-boss rush. There goes him. Go up the steps. Time for a rematch with this guy. So in this level, we're refighting every mini-boss we've fought so far in the game. Or at least I think we're fighting a right variety of them. I think they left some of them out, but whatever. And as such, we get to hear the awesome boss music for the stage. Okay, we're finding you on your home turf of an ice field, which kind of makes you more difficult now. Still not too bad, though. Rematch with bonkers. And oh god, that means Bugsy's gonna be higher up the tower. Uh, won't that be fun? Despite being my favorite curve mini boss, Bugsy gives off. Well, he's a bit of a pain. Though we appear to be fighting Fan Fan first, and you have a nice palace one. I actually like that color on you. Complimenting an elephant, as usual. That's usual stuff for me. Nothing I can already do on a daily basis. Oh, I thought I could counter hit you then. That would have been cool, but unfortunately, no. Also unfortunate, if you lose your power, then you pretty much have to fight next mini boss without power, but you can... Well, I'll be getting throw off of a fan fan here. That probably won't help me out too much in the upcoming mini boss fights. But yeah, this world has a lot of really cool levels in it. They really went all out in the creativity on this thing. Can you give me an apple, please? I'm kinda hungry. Thank you.
And whoa, whoa, whoa. Come back here, Apple. There we go. And that's it for you. One word, is it Bugsy time now? Yes, it is. And he has a nice, I don't know, forest-themed room, which makes sense, considering he's a bug. Okay, now give me your babies so I can throw them at you with great force. Yeah, you're a little bit of a spaz. Why are you setting your babies... Why are you using them as weapons, basically? That's all I want to ask you. Parenting A+. Plus. I think I'd prefer... I was gonna say I think I'd prefer backdrop, but apparently the game wants me to keep fro. Ah, now we match with you. Okay, there! Now you're using the burning power. You didn't show that off the first time I fought you. But yes, this is... Now confirm the boss that gives off the burning power. I don't know why he wasn't using it in the first fight. He seemed way more content with just clawing my face off. Kind of like that. Kind of like that. Okay, stay back. And, oh god, they expect me to just burning. And that's pretty much it for this stage. Yeah, that one's a fun one. They do patch on a little bit more at the end here just to give you a maximum potato, but that's about it. Mini bosses on parade, I like that stage a lot. Now we've moved on to level 3. And now we've gone into space. And oh god, a palace wanted to sleep in me? Come on, guys. That's, don't you think that's just a little bit broken? Alright, they want me to use ball. I'm not fine with this. Yeah, ball sucks. Goodbye. Fear me, sword enemy, for I have the greatest power of all time. He was hacking. Goodbye. Goodbye. Whoa. Okay, so apparently the sword has enough range that I can hit enemies from behind me, but I can't break a bomb block that was just, like, barely right in front of me, but mm, whatever. Uh, yeah. This is kind of difficult, slipping and sliding all over the place and such, and whoa. Man, now they're just getting smaller. It's really hard to make it up here without spawning all you guys back on the screen. Alright, let me try a different approach now. Because they appear to just fear using the same enemy sets over and over again, just with making the platforms a little bit smaller each time. I see a max potato, I want it. Feel the wrath of my oversized body. Uh, yeah, I see where this could be an issue. Is there anything actually worth grabbing? Eh, there's a one-up that works fine for me. Should probably approach this a little bit smarter, though. Yep, never mind. Get to the one-up. Uh, yeah, this wasn't worth it. Whoa. Didn't expect it to open up the pits as well, but whatever. Celebration. And we're now climbing back up. So, next time in Kirby's Nightmare in Dreamland, we'll be returning to level 4 of the final world. We're nearing the end of this game. So I'll see you guys then.